It feels amazing. I'm really, really happy uh, after such a long time uh, finally making it. The last two times for the last two years, it was kind of heartbreaking because it was twice in a, I would say like such a close fashion, like in UL, um, was like three times we had the chance to go to Worlds and we lost three times and in Origin we had all these nice points in Swing Split but uh, sadly got relegations in the third, third uh, sorry in Summer Split which means all your points are lost. So now I'm really really happy that uh, I kind of redeemed myself and made it to Worlds um, I think with a, good, with a strong showing. Some of those rookies. Yeah I mean both these teams are equipped with very powerful team fighting teams. Uh, certainly Cho'Gath traditionally has more team fight impact than a Trundle, but Trundle is going to have a side lane advantage. So if Alfari can get ahead, if he can get a side lane advantage for his team, that really can set them up for success because there's not much that a Trundle really loses to 1v1 in a side lane. Mm -hmm. In the inventory right now. He's ready to blast. He could very well be on his way to building a Rod of Ages into a Nash's Tooth. A little bit unconventional, something very, very unique that only Parabeemal does. We go more into it if he decides to go that way, but just keep your eyes on Parabeemal because he is known to innovate within the EULs. And then when he wins it with it at Worlds, everybody. Everyone ev will do it. Here That'll we go. Be it. <laughs> The roller coaster begins. Personally, not a fan of the national. Not a fan team. at all. <laughs> no, I am not, not a fan. Not many people are, but it looks like right but now Power of Evil is. They're trying to challenge this blue buff right now. Oh, Maple with interesting pathing there to see what he can find, and he finds himself six feet under. First blood for Power of Evil. Great play there from Maxwell and Power of Evil. Full commitment as well. Both flashing over, nail the ultimates there, and they're going to pick up first blood. They're sending their bot lane top, but they're taking a lot of damage on the turret. Trundle is on bot side, and they're going for Maple. Right in his face. All oh, the silence on two. Power of Evil does not let him come back for the kill. That is going to be a turret going down on the top side, but the fight's still happening in the mid lane. MMD low looking to get the chomp down, and he is not able to go or is not going to do so onto Max Lore. Power of Evil, no kill either. The move initially looks promising for Misfits because they move through mid. They cut off the entrance from Flashbulls, who are now looking for a fight. The bay pillar goes out, shockwave. That's going to be a big damage on MMD. He goes down before he can provide the damage or get a bite down. Betty's now the focus as he flashes away and control to misfits. But Maple on the top side has not wavered. He's still going for the turret. Yeah, Maple split pushing on this quirky flashbacks to the TSM game where he was the yes. one creating cross map pressure. He's going to use the teleport to get out of there. He does secure a turret, but it costs him his summoner. Either way. Pretty even trade. Oh, the question is, can they get Carson? They can chase down Carson. They might be able to go for the Baron here, and he is looking like he is in trouble, but Flash Wolves are going to be pushing up mid. Carsa getting taken down. That's going to be Betty and Sword Art on the mid lane turret. Alfari's coming up onto them and will really not be able to do much other than clear the wave. It's going to drop right in front of him. Just gets the minions away, and the armor Flash. is added back. Beautiful job by Alfari. MMD is there for the safe escape for Betty and Sword Art. Yeah, Misfits are starting it up. Power of Evil did go back to base, though, and he's a little bit late getting here. So we'll see if Flash Wolves can try to poke him off this bear. And remember, Jinx has no Flash and is very vulnerable without it. MMD as well cannot get in. They're going to turn a beautiful choice on the fight, and Max Lord could go down. Great shields to keep him alive, and that made Flash Wolves step one step further. Maple has to get out now. Betty's out of mana and can only use the short-range gun as Misfits are looking for power in the mid lane. No flash, no flash on Betty! They get the shockwave onto him as well. He goes down. That's a quick silver sass. It doesn't even keep him alive as they try to get the Knight's Vow damage in from Carson. Maple is roaming around trying to stop them from getting any more. Yeah, Maple actually cut the wave there so right. they could not continue to push, but Misfits can go right back to the bear. This is a five versus three. They need to actually force on something, but Maxlor looks like he's heading into the jungle, maybe going over to the Baron now. They're gonna Maple fly. is just so good at punishing every move that Misfits try to make. Constantly getting something back for his team, but I don't know if he can stop this Baron. Yeah, they certainly can. I mean, there's there's only two Flash Wolves members over there. Uh, Carson would have to look for a Miracle Steal, but Power of Evil is zoning him out. This will be a Misfits Baron. Going to need it. Every lane has been pushed. They're still getting spikes and gold from the turrets, and Misfits really needed to recoup here. A great Baron. Five to zero as they control all kills on the map. Flash Wolves has been working around them up to this point. Eight pink wards now in the inventories of Misfits. I always love looking at that. You know it means surplus in gold and the ability to move up. Feel oh confident word. about where your wards are and where your teammate is. Alfari able to just live through what seems like a war all by himself. Maple, Sword Art, and Karsa can't even take him down to half as his team now comes to help him. 
And Maple's trying to get the last few shots in, but they could be routed at any moment on the second tier turret. And Alfari's right back to full health. That is the power of the Trumbull. Right. So much lifesteal and building, you know, this right into his omen. Plus, oh, we may see Maxwell getting caught. Got him on the chompers, not gonna be too much Hansama. delivered. Oh my god, Hansama offering back a little oh. bit of the same medicine MMD could give. And the shield saves him from the Super Mega Death Rocket. Great body block from Max Law as well, but through all the skirmishing in the jungle, Misfits finally secure themselves. Eight tier, two tower, 5,000 gold in their favor, and then looking for those inhibitors. They're fights. gonna get bot lane as well here. Maple could not hold on against Alfari. Alfari is putting on the pressure, and no one can answer him in this side lane. We really are seeing. Misfits play an excellent game, playing to their win conditions, not overextending, allowing Alfari to drop multiple members down, which opens up the map. Like we said, those GAs are starting to come out, so these fights are going to go. He is on the side with the package, so they do have to show some respect to this. Package is back, not able to use it right away. Redemption goes out deep into the fight to get the heals down. MMD throws on the Gargoyle Stone Plate. We haven't seen Subjugate yet. Alfari still has it. Thanks, Lord. He lost a fair amount of health, but. He does not have the Warmog, so he's not going to instantly regenerate that, but Misfits, they're setting up for a trap. They see Maple, not going to fall for him. Oh, Howling Gale kind of gives away their positioning. A very nice pillar. Split, though, Stops isn't it with to them. one shockwave onto Karsa. That's going to be the knockdown from him as Power of Evil comes up with the kill. Maple still trying to stay on the side. Can't get the firing in, and the Flash Wolves cannot answer back. Yeah, and again, Betty got split from the team, had to run the long way around. By the time he arrives, Kars is already dead, and Misfits can go right back to the Baron. They can actually look to force this, but you can see Maple is trying to go for some secret agents. Classic Maple. For the split foot. He's on the side lane again. He's trying to take advantage, but Misfits, they shred through this Baron. They're going to get the empowered recalls, and they extend their gold lead to 8,000. We talked about how when he's put on the carries, he can perform, he feels more comfortable, but he's being locked up. Oh, Alfari, possibly the first one going down, but what is the rest of the team doing? He'll actually live pulling two members, three members towards the top side of the map. That means inhibitors going down on the bottom side, just sub 40 minutes. Misfits finally break the base and they're looking for more. And Alfari is TPing back, so they want to commit to this push. They still have a minion wave in the mid lane. They can go straight over for that Karsa. Ooh, Karsa, he'll get himself get in out. safety. Body slam away, but that's a bit of his hidden gauge. That flash is also down. We're looking at most of the summoners from the side of Flash Wolf, so they possibly could make a play on a Misfits mistake. But man, they have been far from making mistakes for the past 30 minutes. But you could just see how little damage he was doing to these tanks. They decided to go for the Randuins to limit the bonus attack speed that Jinx naturally gets from her Q. And it's just, you don't have the same tank shredding power that Han is going to have. So if it comes down to these full 5v5s, I feel like Misfits has the advantage to shred through the tanks and they go for the die. Right through, watching Betty on the backside, getting damage onto Alfari. Where are those AD carries? Han Sama just on the right. Shockwave hits onto Maple and almost depletes him immediately. The rest of the team's able to stand tall and deplete that minion wave as top lane's pushing. They have to respect it. A little janitorial duty for Misfits before they're back to the front side of Flash Wolf's base. Betty's still down one level, but they are catching up, and Misfits know they need to be able to posture around this Baron. Their bottom inhibitor has respawned critically for Flash Wolves, but Misfits looking for the fight. Oh, that's going to be a deleted Karsa. There's the shield coming out. Beautiful save on the Wild Growth. Fast fingers from Sword Art to get that save, and now they have a chance to look again at the Baron. So the jungler is still alive. His regeneration is pretty rapid, but Misfits, they're on the Baron first. Let's see if Flash Wolves can do anything. Down to 6,000 immediately. That's half the Baron's health. Oh they God. actually don't want to chance it. Maple could be really firing in the damage from the side. MMD so far behind, but they don't have that vision just of him yet. They get the Baron, not a problem. They're heading topside as the wave is right there with them. Exactly that, Misfits. They're going to try and take advantage of the wave that's already stacked up. You can see Maple and Betty, the two core wave clearers, trying to get back as fast as they can. Flash Wolves trying to intercept this Misfits squad as they have their eyes on another inhibitor tower. Just about two and a half waves as they approach. MMD looking for that rupture that would stop. Whoa, they get a hit onto Han Sama. Flashback, beautiful cleanse there to keep himself alive. The cast did not do much, and they shut down Karsa as he tries to get in. Maple is almost melee range before firing damage onto Han Sama. Very scary stuff from Flash Wolves as they are losing the inhibitor turret and trying to defend with everything they have left. 
Betty just cannot hit through these tanks. He is trying his best to do that much work, but unfortunately... Oh, they're TPing in behind. They're actually trying to cut the wave here. This is going to be huge. Maple's going to be flying through. Damage onto Max Lore. It's going to be Alfari as well. He says, this is our side of the map. Get back over there. And now Misfits have repositioning again on that top lane. Betty backing up, kiting as much as possible to clear out the waves before they approach the turret. They only oh, have that Sama's series. Low. A hit on Sama. That's without Betty, the Betty. cleanse. It's 1-2. Can they rinse and repeat? Max Lore and the rest of the team behind their AD carry, behind Han Sama as he respawns on the Guardian Angel. And they're gonna be looking for the win. Does Europe find it here? 46 minutes in. Misfits only almost doubling the time of their first game here as they persevere through Flash Wolves. And there's the power of the Nashers too. The power of evil gets the kill down on the Betty. They've got their eyes on the Nexus, and Misfits are looking for their first win at world. Parser's back up though. Maple is still alive. There are some very low health bars on Misfits. Will they commit? for this. Last Nexus turret in their eyes. Karsa on the right side. Maxlor says, I give up my life for this and tries to put himself in front. Karsa low on health. It's going to be Maple as well. Dives into the middle. Misfits have locked down the victory. Misfits are looking at the Nexus and they will pull out the win the at European, the 2017 group stage. The European LCS is going to grab their first win from the unlikeliest of sources. Misfits so many people underestimating them. They pick up a big win against Flash Wolves here. Considered the underdogs by almost everyone in this group and really showing it may not be just that three-man race. It's four. Everyone is in the running for these top two spots. And you've got to feel happy for the rookie squad. This is the first time that any of these players have made it to the World Championship. Power Evil has been trying for a very long time with many different teams but it is with all these young players that they're able to do it, and they're able to get their first win against the Flash Wolves, a Fable team. They had such a close game against TSM yesterday, and we were expecting Flash Wolves to be the heavy favorites, but it's Misfits that were able to get themselves the win. And this is a deathless game from Misfits. Yes. This is 12 to zero over the Flash Wolves. Yes, they gave up some turrets. Yes, they gave up some dragons. It is not a perfect game.